Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner and today's video is going to be the one that I've been talking about in the past where I want to discuss the future of the game and you know I don't know what the future of the game holds I don't know if they're going to have a SnowRunner 2 I don't know if they're going to keep developing this game past the season pass uh, content but I have a list of things that I would like to see improved that are already in the game and I have a list of things that I would like to see added to the game. Now before I start this I should say that if you've watched uh, my channel before I have done videos like this on Farming Simulator and for Call of the Wild and sometimes you know I like to throw in things that I know will probably never make it to the game but are things that I would really like to see in the game so you know take all this with a grain of salt it just is what it is it's it's what I would like to see um, I got some input from people in my discord um, they gave me suggested what they like to see we'll go over some of that stuff but I want to get right into it um, I should say that the background video is just me kind of goofing around on the uh, the super truck stadium and some just other stock footage so there's something for you guys to watch so we're gonna go over improvements first I would like to see improvements done to the UI, specifically how you access the controls for the crane and the trailers. Um, I'm on PS4, and literally when you're playing the game Square, just a Square alone does nothing. Square in conjunction with L1 um, has a function, but Square on its own it does nothing. So why can't they just have it so when you press Square, you know, the controls for the crane come up, or you can use Square to... Uh, lower or raise any of the ramps or anything like that on the trailers I think that would be a fantastic idea or even if you have a crane and a trailer maybe you could tap the X button to uh, change which one you're controlling much like they do it in FS19 but that's something I really would like because you know pressing up and then you gotta get to the, that menu and it, it just kinda takes you out of the game I would like to see a better way to do that so this is uh, next one is something that I know I would love, and also members of my Discord would like. Uh, me and Jeremy G Gaming have discussed this: a mini map and a GPS. So, like as you can see on the screen now, I'm not in the cab view. It would be great to have a mini map with a compass on display. I think that would be a fantastic idea. And when you mark your waypoints, you can see the waypoints on the mini map. And when you're in the cab view. You know, maybe have like a, a Tom Tom or like your phone there with a GPS on it, where uh, the waypoints are actually on the GPS unit instead of the blue circles that you actually see in the game on the road. Because let's face it, that's not very realistic. But uh, having a GPS unit inside the cab, I think that's a fantastic idea, and I would definitely love to see a mini map on this game, so we wouldn't have to go to the map so much. Because some of us aren't young, and we forget where we're going or forget the layout of the map. So. Minimap, GPS, and a compass, all three of those things together. Um, another thing is the snow physics. Now, I understand, you know, it's a game and it has to be challenging, but I feel that the snow physics in this game are just a little too much like the mud physics. In real life, snow will compact. And in real life, there's a lot of different kinds of snow. You know, you have snow that has a lot of water volume in it, where that's going to turn to slush, and that's going to pull your vehicle if it's deep enough it's going to make it a lot worse but other kinds of snow will compact and what I would like to see is when you're in a snow map and you drive across a trail so many times that snow will compact and make it easier to go through that trail now the way I like to see it done is probably you know keep that in the memory as long as you're playing the game so in, in your session now as many times as you roll over that it'll compact until it'll get almost like the road you see right now, it'll be nice and uh, packed down, and it'll be easy to drive on. When you exit the game and reboot the game, then, you know, all those paths will reset, the snow will reset, it'll go back to the original depth. But compaction in snow is definitely a thing. This is something that I don't know if is possible in the game, honestly. I'm not a developer, I'm not a programmer, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I would like to see something like that done on a future title. Um, the time of day speed. So I would like this to be something that we control much like Farming Simulator because right now I feel day night it, it passes way too fast. I'd like to slow it down and enjoy it a little more. Um, 
you know, j just have something in the options where we can control the speed to maybe have it real time or 5x up to like, you know, whatever you want it. But I definitely think that needs improvement. Which winch points? This is a huge one, guys. Like the winch points in this game, I feel it would be so much better if we could have a click and drag system like to do on a computer. Now, I know we can't use mouse and keyboard on PS4. I don't know about Xbox. But we already have a click and drag system for the waypoints on the map. So I don't see why they can't do the same thing for us um, on the winch. You know, somehow, like when you go into winch mode, if you can click one of the icons, have a little cursor come up, and we can click and drag it, it would be so much easier. Um, or there's, there's another thing I, I'd like to see happen with the winch, but we'll get into that later. So the next thing. Better or improved low gear, because low gear should give you more torque, not just slow you down. And I noticed that some of the mod vehicles, it does seem like the low gear does give you a little bit more torque. But in the end, I, I think still with the game, they uh, they just it just slows you down. Oh, pardon me. Um, you know, and that's not that's not what low gear should do. It should give you more torque, so you have more power to get out of those tough situations. So that's something that needs to be improved upon. This is one also that uh, Jeremy G mentioned, and I didn't even think of this one, but this is a really good idea. The uh, The blacktop roads shouldn't be slippery when not on winter maps. I totally agree with that. Like in Michigan, sometimes the roads are really slick, and they're really slippery feeling. Um, and that definitely shouldn't be. The, uh, the trucks, they should grip better on paved roads so that's definitely an improvement that i'd like to like to see fix the camera collisions guys this is something that if you've been watching me play this game if you've been watching my videos you know i've said this so many times in my videos the camera collisions in this game just suck um they're so bad i i wish they would fix that this is something that i feel that they could fix within this game i don't feel that that's something that we have to wait for the next game they could fix it in this one but i would l definitely like to see it done um the next one, we're on number nine, weather effects. So we have rain and snow in the game, but I would like to see a um, those weather effects um, more amplified and varied. So like maybe sometimes it's lightly snowing, other times maybe it's a complete blizzard. Same thing with rain. Maybe sometimes it's drizzling, sometimes you know others it's like a, a complete downpour. And I would like to see the weather actually affect the game. You know puddles on the road uh rain makes mud deeper deeper um snow starts piling up um you know stuff like that makes visibility less something like that i think would be just really cool to have in the game um okay so this is one that another member of my discord said uh southern run uh trailers can oh no no, no wait a minute that's not that that's something else. That's that's a new feature that I think will be. Yeah, we'll, we'll discuss that later. This one is one I I chose. Trailers can trigger mission squares. So as of right now, when you're delivering your cargo, your your truck has to be within the square. If you back the trailer up, that does it. That won't trigger it. The wheels on your truck have to actually be in the square. I want to see that changed because a lots of time you know lots of times you need to you would. It, in real life, you would back in. You would back the trailer in. You wouldn't pull in and then back out. So I think that they should make it so the trailer wheels, as long as the trailer is in that square, it'll trigger the prompt for you to unload your cargo or load your cargo or whatever you have to do. And another thing I'd like to see, I would like to see bigger maps. You know, I mean, I think that's probably a no-brainer. I feel like that. I'm kind of pushing it with saying that one because that's kind of something that I feel everybody's going to want and that's probably going to happen with the next game if they bring out next game that we will see bigger maps, especially with um, the PS5 and the new Xbox Series X out. It should definitely be doable. So those are the improvements that I would like to see in the game. I'm sure there's more. If you guys have thought of any, drop it in the comments. Like I say, things like saying bug fixes or, you know make uh, multiplayer work that's obvious like you know yeah we, we like we get that that's that's something that's always going to be ongoing so now let's move on to new features that i would like to see come to the game 
Uh, for one, I would like to see windshield wipers at work because driving in the rain in cab and the windshield wipers, you can't turn them on, seems a little strange to me. And actually to expand on that, I would like to see a lot more sim-like things in the game. You know, like maybe we can turn on the radio in the cars or, or something like that, you know, and actually have music while we're driving. I think that would be a, a cool addition. Um, you know, a, a lot of other things that I feel that, that we could have, uh, you know, maybe like signals, maybe headlights with, with high beam, low beam, something like that. I don't know. All those things I think would be pretty cool to be in there. Um, so another new feature I would like to see is the ability to leave the truck and to be able to actually walk around and even like do small tasks like pick up rocks in the road because I know there's lots of times that small rocks will, you know, literally leave you motionless. Like you'll be stuck on a small pop, a small pebble when in all actuality, you know, if you could, you could just get out of your truck and pick it up and move it. Also, I would like to be able to get out of the truck to do things like manually hook up a trailer. Um, and also, mainly do a winch point. Like, wouldn't it be cool if you could get out of the truck, grab your winch, pull it to whatever tree you want to hook it on, wrap it around the tree, get back to the truck, you know, pull it. I think that'd be a, uh, a pretty cool thing to do. And maybe it's something that they could have where you could turn it on and turn it off because I know that not everybody probably wants that level of immersion. So, you know, that could be like in a, uh, a hardcore motor, something like that. Um, custom liveries. I would like to see custom liveries so we can have our own trucking companies and we can put our own uh, decals on them. We can make our own uh, company names that we can put on the trucks, custom colors, uh, stuff like that. I think that would be a really cool feature to have in an upcoming game. Um, so this next one is going to be one that I know is probably going to be a little controversial for some people. Some people may want it, some people don't. I would like to see it. I would like to see more on-road driving. And I would like to see it so you have to travel to cities using highway trucks after getting supplies from, like, the mud areas. So, like, imagine if you had, if, what if each, each area, right, like, take, uh, take Michigan, per se. So, say you have four maps, like, the four maps that we have, and they're all, like, the, the muddy rural areas, you know, where you have to get through. But then there's a fifth map that's, like, a central map that's, like, a city, you know. And so you would have to pull all of that stuff out of those mud maps and then bring it to a, a paved road where you could have, like, your highway truck rate, waiting, have the highway truck hook on to the trailer, and then bring that truck up to the city map and deliver it somewhere in the city. So then you're kind of kind of mixing, like, uh, America Truck Simulator with SnowRunner. This is way out there, guys, I know, but this is something that I would like to see in the game. I think it would add a lot to it. I think it would be a pretty cool addition, and I think it would be a great way to incorporate the uh, the highway trucks into the game, because right now, I really feel that they don't serve a great use. Now, I, I do know people use them and like them and will argue and say, no, you're wrong, you know, that you can use them fine, but it's just my opinion. Um, so another thing that I have said in the past, I would like to see NPCs, people, vehicles, even animals. Um, we have birds in the game. The birds look cool. The, uh, the animals that we have in the game, like the wolf and, uh, what is it, like a, a moose or something, I think someone said it was in the game. They're like a uh, 2D cardboard silhouette. I would like to see some animals roaming around, even if it's in towns where you, maybe you see, like, uh, dogs running around or something. Or, like, at a farm, you'll see cows or chickens or something like that. I think that'd be cool. Um, people in vehicles, just to make the maps seem more alive. You know, because I'm all about immersion and I really think that the game would be cool if, uh, you know, it felt like there were people living in the areas that you were going to. And I also think it would uh, bring a new challenge to the game where when you're in, like, the villages and towns, if there was actually traffic that you had to contend with. You know, obviously not a lot of traffic. But that goes back to my other point of having, like, a city map on each area where you could go where there would be you would have to deal with traffic and stuff like that so that's just something I think would be really cool uh, okay so this was actually a suggestion by someone in my discord I believe it was that dude he wants a manual transmission and uh, yeah I can totally see a manual transmission in this game 
although you would be shifting a lot <laughs> you know you would definitely be shifting gears a ton but uh yeah i think that would be a pretty cool addition considering that these are trucks um okay so this next one this is kind of tied to having npcs i would like to see random events pop up for example like maybe you're in the middle of a contract and you get a call on your radio saying that you know a car went off the road could you go you know help them you know recover them have like a a real like business stuff and you could get extra cash and maybe extra xp off these things and they would be random events uh, much like i guess uh well like in the batman arkham games they would have these random events like uh maybe someone was getting robbed and you'd have to go save them or something i would like to see random events in the game like that where you know maybe you got a uh you know a car got stuck you had to pull them out or maybe there was like someone that you know really needs some something delivered right away you know that you could take and get some extra cash and xp uh, so I think that would be something really cool that they could add to the game. Oh yeah, and something like maybe like uh, you know maybe like if there was a storm, uh, trees fell on power lines and you got to go kind of like move the trees, or something like that, or uh, hurry up and get telephone poles out to that area. You get it. You 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 get it. That's uh that's kind of where I'm going with that. Um, okay, so this is the one that Southern Run suggested in my Discord. Um, he wants to uh, reset trailers back to the garage which i can actually see that that being a pretty fair thing to want uh, considering that if you watch my last video i got that one trailer stuck and it's still stuck there i'm gonna have to go get it delete the cargo off it and either try to get the trailer out of there or just wait till we get the new uh the new phase three where we can delete trailers from the map altogether so guys that's uh that's pretty much it for things that I would like to see and things that I would uh, like to see improved. As I said, it's just uh, some things. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure all of you people out there, you, you have a lot of ideas in your mind as well as to how the game can pr improve and what you'd like to see in the game. Of course, more trucks. We all want to see more trucks. We all want to see our favorite vehicle in the game. That comes down to a licensing issue, so that's why I didn't really mention that. And again... There's always going to be new vehicles and more vehicles and different kinds of vehicles. You know, I feel that where they're going with the game, they're going in the right direction. It's so much better than Mud Runner. It's so much more complete. There's so much more to do. And I'm sure moving forward, they will just give us more of that. But again, guys, I have no idea what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to make a sequel. I don't know if they're going to continue the franchise. I don't know if they're going to just continue developing this game. I don't see them doing that considering there's a season pass. So I'm really thinking that, you know, once the season pass stuff is done, they're going to probably be done with this game. And I'm sure they're going to have a SnowRunner 2 in the works. Um, I would really like to see that, especially with next-gen console, because the load times are a lot quicker. And not just that, they can they can render maps in better and more efficiently. So that means we could see bigger maps, and possibly maps that maybe we don't even have to um, go through a gateway to get to the next map. Maybe we can have the whole area on just one huge map. Um, that's a possibility as well that um, I wouldn't mind seeing in the game. Anyway, that is where we're going to end this video. Uh, I, I think I covered everything that I can think of. Like I said, if you guys can think of any more, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys want to see in the game. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll see you next time.